Hi, uh, my name is uh, Milivoj Popovic for uh, simplylightwave.com. Uh, welcome to the introduction video to our tutorial. And in this video, I just want to uh, quickly run through some uh, tools that we'll be using extensively throughout the videos. Uh, these tools are pretty common, and if you're not a beginner, a really beginner in uh, a Lightwave and uh, in Modeler, uh, you probably used these tools yourself uh, many times before. Uh, but before we get to the tools, I uh, just want to make sure that, you, uh, that our shortcuts and our uh, layout is the same. So to do that, just go under Edit and Edit Menu Layout. And here under Presets, I use Studio Production Style. And uh, also for edit keyboard shortcuts here I also use studio production style now you don't have to necessarily uh, do this yourself you know if you have your own uh, shortcut uh, and uh, menu layout system that you are comfortable win, uh, within you know no problem but if you want uh, our uh, layouts to be identical you should uh, switch to um, studio production uh, layout and that being said, let me just uh, run through a few tools that you'll be using. And uh, the tool that I'll be really using a lot is uh, Extend. And uh, the short uh, cut for, uh, for this tool is E. So just press E and uh, T for Move. And we see here that we created another edge loop and you can extend uh, points, you can extend polygons you can extend edges it's a very useful tool that I use really really a lot and you can find it under extrude edges under multiply and here it is extender plus in the earliest earlier versions of Lightwave, now I'm using Lightwave 9.6. In earlier versions of Lightwave, I think around 8, uh, it was a separate plugin, but uh, it became integrated into Lightwave, and it's a very uh, it's a great tool to use. And uh, other than this, I'll uh, also use Bevel. You know, and uh, also it's a tool very commonly used. Uh, shortcut for this is B. Or of course you can just use here under uh, bevel polygons. And uh, one more tool, it's also Benso Pro. Now if you just click it, it's going to go like this. Uh, but uh, if you press N for numeric, then you're going to get options for, for this tool. And it's a quite simple tool to use. You can just clear everything and, you know, add edges like this. You can see here they're moving, and you can add more, or you can delete more. Also, uh, something which in earlier versions was a separate plugin, but now it's integrated into a modeler. So very uh, common and very useful and powerful tool. And uh, with just these uh, tool sets, you can really create, you know, anything you can imagine. And uh, these are, you know, the tools I'll be using most of the time. And uh, some other tools will uh, pop up during the tutorial, you know, but you'll see me using them and uh, be no problem very uh, quickly to catch up if you never used them before. But these are, again, uh, the tools I'll be using uh, very, very much throughout the tutorial. And... Uh, one more powerful thing is uh, point info and point info and just select points and press uh, just press uh, hotkey I and that is going to uh, take you into point info and here you can uh, edit the point uh, whatever points you want their values on the X Y and Z axis so usually I'll just go and edit all and you know put zero uh, for the x-axis and that is going to put all the points you know very neatly uh, leveled at value 0 here 
uh, why I will use this uh, most of the times uh, to enter into symmetry mode for example if we have uh, something like uh, mm, let me just go into a uh, use pen tool and we have something like this and now we want to mirror this you know it wasn't really straight so what I'll do is just select these points go into point info edit all put zero here and shift V for mirror and it's very nicely mirrored and why we want this because now we can use uh, symmetry tool to the full advantage and uh, yeah this is the uh, most uh, common reason why I use uh, point info uh, so I can also use uh, the symmetry mode and also uh, one uh, very nice uh, very nice uh, thing you can do if you want to level points very quickly uh, that is go into stretch now I'm into stretch uh, shortcut for this is H and if you press control and just drag to the left you will see all the points will stretch into a perfect line so let me just do that again just select whatever points we can also do like this press H for stretch control and now I'm going up and down I'm just going to squeeze them uh, in a perfect line it's a very nice and uh, useful tri trick you'll see me uh, uh, employing the tutorial and uh, just uh, one more thing and that is uh, control W uh, uh, sorry uh, that is just W control W is uh, for welding so we can see here of course that is one thing you should be mindful of and I'll warn you in the tutorial about this is the symmetry mode does not work when you're welding it's not going to weld the uh, it's not going to weld these two points and these two points, it's just going to weld all the four points. So be mindful of that. Again, uh, control V is to weld the points. But what I wanted to say is the point statistic and you know whatever it, it is that you're in. Is it polygon statistic, edge, edge statistic and point statistic? And uh, this is a very good place where you can uh, select uh, polygons by surface here we have just one surface but if we name this surface like test uh, you'll see here you have test and you can just select all the polygons uh, with this uh, surface assigned to and also for points it's a very good place where you can see how clean your geometry is you can see whether you have uh, two point polygons four point polygons or what's happening there right now I'm in point mode and I want to go into polygon mode and uh, we can see here that we only have polygons that have uh, more than four vertices <coughs> so it's a very good place you know just to see uh, if you have some poly uh, polygons which are not sub etching which are have more than uh, four uh, vertices it's a great place where you can just select them and see which uh, polygons you are dealing with and uh, yeah that being said and that's about it and whatever other tools we employ you know we're gonna see them throughout the tutorial and you know I hope you'll get to know them better if you don't know them by now and there's just uh, one more thing that I wanna show you and these are the only two things that you won't see me create in the tutorial this is the jack silhouette that I'll be using it's just something I uh, quickly uh, doodled uh, using some reference images is going to be uh, used to in the tutorial to help us uh, gauge uh, all the uh, sizes and different parts of uh, Jack and also one thing I uh, created uh, very quickly it's uh, this uh, kind of a cage, cage uh, poly cage that I uh, drawn in Photoshop and you can see it here is just you know super flare. Uh, I took this reference image and drawn this uh, polygon cage. I found it uh, find it 
easier sometimes just to investigate uh, certain uh, edge loops that I want to do in Photoshop because here you can really quickly add edge loops and delete them and do whatever you want and it's uh, you know something I found uh, very useful to do and that is that those are the only two images that I uh, created like literally five minutes before I started to record and didn't want to go uh, and do them again it's uh, you know very simple so I just left it and you can see it here uh, one more thing uh, I want to say in this introduction, uh, introduction um, video is uh, that all the images that uh, you'll see me use for texturing I uh, got from uh, cgtextures.com and it's an excellent site for uh, CG textures and I really recommend that you uh, become a member and uh, yeah you have the opportunity to download some really great textures at a really high resolutions and of course uh, as far as all these reference images I use basically just Google there's a lot of images of Jack is a very popular character and um, yeah just uh, one more um, quick note before we uh, head into uh, the tutorial the creation of uh, our model itself is uh, yeah I for this tutorial, tutorial I choose uh, not to do any preparation <laughs> and I don't mean this as a bad thing uh, I just uh, wanted you to uh, accompany me through this journey and that we can take this journey together uh, for the first time of creation of this uh, model so I loaded the model for you here uh, quickly uh, so as I said I wanted you uh, guys to take this journey with me uh, from the start I didn't want to try different things uh, you know uh, in, in, uh, without uh, uh, beforehand and just kind of uh, present to you uh, the finished you know process I wanted you to see you know the problems that I ran into uh, as they happen and uh, how I solved them so you know you can uh, get the full uh, the full uh, insight in uh, creating a model like this you know so you'll see me sometimes do something and it just won't work out and we'll backtrack and uh, try it again of course it's not going to happen a lot but you know still I wanted you guys uh, to see uh, the whole thing uh, just one more thing, uh, most of the videos I recorded uh, I uh, speeded up for the tutorial oh, to around a little over uh, two times in the, in the speed just so you know the tempo is uh, a little bit more a little bit faster and I hope you'll enjoy it and I hope uh, you'll get a kick out of it and at the end you'll have uh, gained uh, more knowledge and uh, you know have a nice model so uh, yeah Without further ado, I'm going to end uh, the introduction uh, video here, and uh, let's dive.